NFL, which stands for not for long when you make them calls. Yeah. I'll be selling Go. groceries. What Glanville did sell was his North Georgia home. He's downsizing, simplifying, and that means the lifetime of stuff that started with a ticket stub has to go. You can't keep carrying all your memories with you. There's got to be somebody that was at that first playoff game ever in Fulton County Stadium and helped tear down the goalpost. Well, now we're going to share it with them. Glanville's holding a living estate sale. With $12,000 and several friends to help carry it, you can walk away with his life-sized portrait or any number of items that'll be here in FL. Not for long. You two are the masters. You two know everything. I'm leaving everything with you two, <laughs> and that way we can make enough money. Mm -hmm. We can go to the Waffle House when this is over and see That's if we're tough do. enough. That's what I want to do. See if we're tough enough to eat one mm -hmm. of their steaks. Their That's steaks right. are tough now. <laughs> There's 10 years of history on every table. Game ball here, playoff game with Houston Oilers versus the Cleveland Browns. We were able to win, and they fired Marty Schottenheimer the next day. It took him 25 years to recover from that. Everybody says, that's so sad. Marty got fired over that loss. I said, well, if we'd have lost, they probably would have fired me too. That's, that's the business. Take that blitz and stick it up your Jerry Glanville. These jackets were probably more famous than uh, than I ever was. They're called High Plains Drifter jackets because they have a cuff over the sleeve. I usually had to wear this in Cleveland. and <laughs> We never told anybody why I wore them. You usually had uh, protection underneath. Are you serious? Oh, my God. Somebody would make a death threat, and if you had a death threat, then you had on a uh, second chance t-shirt and armor underneath, and uh, you wore that over the top of everything. And, it ended up people like the jacket a whole lot better than they like me. No touchdown. Field goal attempt. I was coaching the defense in 1977 with the Falcons, and our unit gave up 129 total points for the year, which is the lowest in the history of the NFL. So out of all these trophies, uh, this one is probably my favorite. Memorabilia hounds grits blitzed their way into the house to see what was for sale. But with Jerry Glanville, the stories and the jokes are always free. Anything that's left over, we're just leaving. We're walking out. So he's going to have to. He's going to have to do something with it. He can have his state sale too. If it's not gone, you own it. That's the deal. Well, that'll be interesting. So there'll be, everybody, there'll be a lot of stuff on eBay. In the <laughs> Our right. offense yeah. that year, our longest run was a hull break. <laughs> <laughs> our MVP was the punter. <laughs> Always been a big fan of uh, the grid splits. Reminds me of growing up and everything. It's fun to see the people enjoy what they got. It makes it all worthwhile. As the sale wound down, Elvis finally showed up. But as Glanville prepared to leave the building, there was another legend on his mind. I think of Frank Sinatra, not the way everybody would do it, but we did it, we did it our way. Mm -hmm.